Alright, so we're gonna turn on the lights in this dark hallway. Because I don't like being in the dark. I think there's a light switch back there, but You know the neat thing about Jennifer is she can run? Daniel? Yeah. There we oh oh nope, no, no. come I, on Jennifer. I gotta, I gotta save Stanima. Stamina. I used to say caterpillar weird too. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> you I forgot to turn on the light. That's oh. why you went over there in the first place. Uh, you got me, you know, thinking about caterpillars. I think it was in third grade. Well, she's going up the stairs, folks. And it was like a vocab word. <laughs> I'm telling you my tale of woe right now, okay? What if I got the word Daniel wrong? Nadiel? Nadiel. Would you like to be called Nadiel? Okay, well, Would you like I, me to mix up think the D and the N? Uh, Calipers don't have feelings. So. That's fucked up. And then, and then <laughs> when I was in first grade, I couldn't say turtle. I said like total. Total. <laughs> I like totals. <laughs> so we're going left here. Because there's nothing on the right. No, just because left is better than the right. Oh, she can double take before <laughs> running to the left for like about a few seconds and then stopping. <laughs> and her fat bitch ass breaks the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't think I can jump that. Nope. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the controls, guys. Jennifer's really confused. She runs forward for about a couple of feet and then turns around. It's just like a, you know, double take. She hit her head on a few branches on the way up to the mansion, so she's feeling a little disoriented. Norway will do that to you. And they have small bathrooms. Or no bathrooms. It yeah. really depends on what type of uh, area you're living in. Norway has a complex socio-economical state. And if you live in Norway and you're watching this video, leave a comment. Cause it, like, yeah, that's, that's badass. You could be like, whoa, guys, I live in the same country as Jennifer Simpson. And I have a toilet. <laughs> and if you don't, just don't say anything. We're gonna run this. We're gonna. <gasps> yeah, that was like a two minute mile right there. Jennifer is fast like canyons. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hit this. Just for. Oh. Why is there so many light switches in this house? So you're meaning to tell me that you walked all the way to the right side of the room when you could have turned the lights on? Well, there's a door. On the left? <laughs> there, there's, Fucking idiot! There's a door. I gotta. I have to check the door in upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the name calling Lee. I thought something was gonna pop out of that window. Spoiler. Okay, first door. I got that. No problem. It's a good thing Daniel practiced in the main hall like five times. <laughs> yeah, that was a light switch, guys. And there's the box. I'm gonna take that box and see what's inside of that box. There's a key! Step one, put a key in the box. Okay. One of the neat things about Clock Tower is that it randomizes the locations of some of the items and rooms. So it kind of, like increases the replay value of it between, you know, the multitude of endings and the variable outcomes. It's really kind of complex for a Super Nintendo game. Looks like it's broken. What if it was working? I wonder if she was just like, sit down right there and watch some TV. What do you think they watch in Norway? Like Tom and Jerry or something? Two and a half men. <laughs> Probably. Jersey Shore. <laughs> Also, a uh, good choice. Why am I walking so slow? It's completely dark outside. What time is it now? I don't think you can run in rooms, guys. Just FYI. I don't, you can't run when you're uh, walking up and down, I think. Or, like, maybe you can. Every room is scary. Alright, what is this? 
Looks like a couple of babies, maybe. Baby, like maybe. Is it broken or is that like spider webs? I, I think it's broken. This dude's just hanging out. When else was hanging out? An arm out of a mirror. Hey, Daniel actually lived this yes. time. I think he's died to that mirror about four times. Yeah, it was four. It was tough. You know, uh, small ball of I think cute. his survival rate is about 30% on that mirror. I'm just taking an estimate. <laughs> it, might be, it, like it might be around 25. But If you guys just missed that, I just picked up some perfume. I yeah, stole it. He stole some perfume. Or she. He, she. I'm playing, so it's... Well, it's your character stole perfume. Jennifer. Thieving bitch. There's a bird in this cage. I'm gonna let her free, because... I love, you know, animals and trees. All the people around the world. Yeah, so the first time I played this, I thought someone died in this room. And the bird was just like repeating what the bird said. And I think that's a good estimation. Do you guys see how her portrait dropped to green right there? Um, Clockdown doesn't really have a life meter to speak of. It's measured by Jennifer's relative level of stress, so every time she's panicking or in danger, it drops lower and lower. And as it drops, her chances of living in a crisis situation dramatically decrease. So, right now she ain't feeling too hot. Did you guys see me get that motherfucker? Respectively, Jennifer can recover ungodly amounts of stress. By sitting down in the middle of the floor in the mansion. Meditating. For a Meditating. long ass time. Yeah, I know. I was just, you know, like, there's the other door, guys. That's where I came in. Alright, walking down the hall. I know, that's scary. Because what if you run into something? Just hmm. Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. yeah. I totally forgot about that video. Okay. You may have seen this room in our little teaser. It's really glitchy. Kind of. Yeah, oh, glitchy look, at, look at her stress. It's red now. Oh, she's very stressed out. You know, she's about to shit bricks. She's not doing too good. I should have closed the door. Open the door. Yeah, this room is <laughs> the fog is real. That's real fog up there. Cover the curtains. Maybe if Daniel can uh, learn how to actually put the mouse on the curtains where it's just. Oh, there. there. I thought I just had to click on it. Now? My heart's beating. My hands are shaking. Who is that? Laura. That's Laura. I don't really like her, anyways. Yeah, she's. Kind of a bitch. She's just a broad. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. The shark. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's the guy with the scissors. Oh my god, and I'm really bad at the controls. Oh my god, go! Cool. Yeah, on this part of the game, cool. Jennifer likes to stand cool. in front of the door and watch the guy chase her. Go, 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 go. This is Scissor Man, by the way. Yeah. He's not only a man, though, he's more of a child. Scissor Boy. I don't know, either way, he's scary. Yeah, remember that room, guys? I'm gonna hide under the bed. Jennifer's gonna be pursued by Scissor Man a variety of times throughout the game. There's um, certain tactics you can use to avoid him, as we're about to see here. Who turned off the lights? When I left, the lights were turned on. Okay. Scissor Man's easily fooled, which is a good thing considering Jennifer is partially retarded. Scissor Man. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue down the hall through the next door. <laughs> 